In this video, I'm going to take this number four billiard ball and turn it on the mini lathe to make a mini bean pot trinket box. Hello everybody and welcome back to Stuart Arts. Uh, recently I've been turning some billiard balls on my midi lathe and uh, making some little trinket boxes uh, like these here. And uh, so in this video I'm going to show you the techniques that I use uh, to create this little piece right here. But the techniques are representative of what I did for pretty much everything you see here. Now just a word about working with uh, this material. Uh, these are made out of different types of plastics and when you turn them it can be very dusty and it can be very uh, odorific if you will. There's a pungent odor that comes off of some of these balls so it's very very important to have respiratory protection. I use a vacuum cleaner, I use a fan to try to draw some of the dust away from me and I also wear a uh, 3M dust mask to protect my lungs. So with that, uh, let's uh, have some fun and, and make this little pot right here. I uh, am going to attach the ball using a draw bar, so I'm going to drill a hole here and tap that for quarter twenty. And I'm going to drill about two-thirds of the way through the ball. I'm uh, using a quarter twenty draw bar to secure the ball in the lathe here, so I'll thread the ball onto the all thread now that I have the threads cut in there. And I'll run it all the way up. And then I'm using a piece of carpet non-skid non here to draw the ball into the chuck. That way it won't slide around when it's turning and also it'll protect it from the metal of the chuck jaws. My plan here is to uh, cut a mortise on the base of this. This will actually be the bottom of it. And I've got to cut a mortise to go in these little jaws right here. So I'll just mark off kind of an approximation on uh, what that diameter needs to be. And I'll just use this Sharpie here to help me find that dimension. And that looks pretty close right there. It's hard to do this on a sphere, but that'll give me a rough idea of what I need to do. Here I'm using a sharp parting tool just to uh, kind of flatten off the bottom of the ball. I've got a fan set up uh, up at the upper right there. You can see the filter and I also have a vacuum hose that's sucking up most of the chips that are coming off of that. And you can kind of see that black circle there where I've got that set up. I'm using a homemade uh, tool here to establish the mortise. I cut this out of an old screwdriver. A uh, quick measurement shows me that the mortise is big enough for my small jaws. So I'm flipping the ball around here and getting ready to turn and hollow. And I turn it on just to make sure it's running true, and it is. And uh, even though it's got a good firm mortise joint, I bring up the tailstock here to add some safety as I cut. Now here I'm using a spindle gouge uh, just to remove some of the material and to round off the top of the ball uh, just in the area below where I'm planning to part off the top. Now I cut the top off using a parting tool and I had planned to make a lid out of this but I made a mistake as you'll see later on in the video. Just to speed things along, I'm going through uh, some boring operations using Forstner bits to hog out most of the material I intend to remove. And I finished the contouring of the uh, inside using a round nose scraper. I had to sharpen the scraper a couple times. The plastic's pretty rough on the metal there. And I turn it down to a thickness of about 3 16 of an inch thereabouts. And the measurement shows me that I'm good. Thank you. 
as I mentioned earlier, I was going to use this little piece here as the lid, and I went about fitting it up, but in the process of wet sanding this, I lost the tolerances, so I ended up abandoning this top, and I cut a little wooden top instead. All right, so I'm on to wet sanding here. Um, I'm doing kind of a slow speed sand here. If you go fast, it's going to fling water all over the place. And I found that, you know, just a uh, four or 500 RPM is really all you need for this. Keep the paper nice and uh, wet. You don't want to have any friction build up in the work there. And so I'll start off with the 320 and I'll work my way up through the grits and I'll probably end up at about 2000. And then I'll be ready to put some polish on it. So I'll just skip right to that step. Just using some good old uh, Men Wax paste finishing wax. Seems to work pretty well on this uh, phenolic surface here. And uh, didn't really need to dry for any time period. And I can see it starting to pop. And how could I not be happy with that? Yeah, so I decided to go with the piece of wood. I had this nice little kind of burly walnut, and so I cut this sort of button-shaped lid for it. And this, the register is just right for this. I've got a little metal lathe and thought I'd get fancy here and make a little brass finial uh, for my wooden top. And that's a pretty darn good fit. I think we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna add a bail handle to this and I'll use my Dremel here with a little spherical bit and I'll make a couple of little divots, if you will, on either side to receive the, uh, the brass handle tips. Well, got all the pieces together here. And uh, this is the little bale. Now, I didn't uh, cover that. It's pretty straightforward. I just bent up a piece of uh, 1 8 inch brass rod. There's a few tricks I had to learn. This is the third or fourth one that I've done. I'm getting quicker with them. So the bale just kind of goes in these little holes we made earlier, and you just sort of stretch the brass out like that. And there you go. And then we'll put the lid on here. Now somebody's gonna get that under their Christmas tree. I wish the fours were in the same orientation, but that's a billiard ball for you. I gotta figure out how to sign this thing. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. <laughs>